What up everybody, Cigar Noob here, and I just received my first pipe in the mail. I'm so excited. This is a Briarwood pipe, and I have been excited about this all week. I've watched a ton of YouTube videos. I have some tobacco to break in the pipe. Now this is Davidoff English mixture. I have talked to a guy, um, talked to a guy, you know, I talked to a guy at a smoke shop, um, Davidoff of Geneva in New York City, used to smoke a pipe, said that this would be a good beginner. It's supposed to be a, um, a burly, a mild burly, which they said was good for your first one. And um, I didn't want to do an aromatic since I'm a cigar smoker. And I have this nice little tamping tool. So I'm going to try to pack this pipe with the three layer system. And then we're going to go outside and try to smoke this thing and see how this goes. I'm super curious about it. Um, I've gotten, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos, so hopefully that knowledge carries over, but it's like, I know it's a feel thing with the tamping, so I don't know. So tin right here, first time opening this up. Um, I know that this is packed airtight. So I just used the, ooh, whoa, whoa. What an aroma. Oh, that smells absolutely fantastic. I was not expecting that at all. I've never smoked a pipe. I've never been around pipe tobacco. This is crazy. Got some stuck to the top there. And that's what we got inside. The smell smells really good. I mean, that's certainly the, um, the I'm not pronouncing this right and I keep pronouncing it wrong. So that's what I'm checking. The Latica makes it smell like a campfire. Whoa. And let me try to Get some tobacco here. Now the gentleman at the pipe shop said that this should be, um, I don't need to do anything to this. I don't need to dry this out. I mean, it's not incredibly moist. It is sticking together, um, but it feels, I don't know. So what I'm gonna do is trickle in, trickle in some tobacco and then tamp it down. Layer one, trickle in some tobacco, tamp down, layer two and then trickle in some more, tamp it down a little harder for the third layer. I'm gonna test the draw when we're done all that. I will say the pipe, well, I do quite like the pipe that I ordered. I ordered it online, so I didn't get to see it. Um, it's not like I bought it in a store. I'm getting a little bit of resistance. So keep on going. So that's layer one. Maybe, maybe I'm... I have an inkling I'm gonna mess this whole thing up first time because I've seen a lot of people doing that where you mess up your whole first smoke, but hopefully that don't happen. So fill this puppy up. Let's check the draw. I'm getting Something similar to a cigar. Maybe I can go a little tighter on the pack. And 
and a little bit over the rim here. I will also say that I, I saw a bunch of stuff about like packing in or breaking in a pipe. There are so many different views and honestly, it just seems like, how do you break in a pipe? You smoke the pipe. Some people are like, yeah, you only smoke the bottom half. And some people are like, oh, I only smoke the top half. Because when you only smoke the bottom half, then you char the top when you're lighting it. So it seems like people have a lot of conflicting, kind of like conflicting views about everything when it comes to pipe smoking. Everybody just kind of does it their own way, so. Now let's test the draw. I feel like I'm gonna say that that's a light draw. Maybe we'll put a little bit more. There we go, that's a nice draw. I mean, this is, again, virgin pipe, brand new pipe smoker, so I don't know what the hell I'm talking about besides a bunch of YouTube knowledge, but what they say is that you should have a draw similar to that of drinking something through a straw with the same sort of suction. So. I like this tamping tool that I got, it's quite nice. I think that that's okay for where we are at the moment. Let me get all the tobacco back in this tobacco tin. I do have to say, whoa, this smells incredible i was not expecting like i know that it's different than um anything than cigarettes cigars but dang smells really good right off the rip mm, delicious all right so i'm gonna go outside and we're gonna try to get some sort of lighting so that you can see my face a candle i'm gonna work with what i got and um we're going to try to, to smoke this and see how it goes so see you outside all right, so we're outside. I know it's a little dark. I apologize. Um, so let me just pull up my camera so I can make sure we've, we're in the frame. All right, cool. So what I was told by the mutton chop piper as I looked it up is to kiss the flame to the top of the tobacco. So that's what we're gonna try. This is just the charring light, and then we're gonna tamp it down and then go for the real light and see how this goes. And you can see, hmm, it's quite nice. You can see how I'm not stuffing the lighter all the way down into the, the bowl. I'm hovering over top. And then when I draw, the, pipe, the flame is moving down. That's what Mutton Chop taught me, and I think it's pretty good advice. So now I'm tamping down the ash. Tamped down pretty good. 
Let's go for real. Let's go for real light. Let's see if we can do this thing. All right, 2.30. I'm going to see how long before a second light. I guess it's lit. I'm breathing through my nose. This is really smooth. Davidoff English mixture. Certainly staying lit, and every once in a while I'm blowing out through. Now let's see. I'm going to tamp it down a bit. Keep that ash. Tamp. I mean, until it's solid, I guess. I guess let's tamp it down again. It's burning pretty well. Definitely got to try some different tobacco. I don't know if I'm a big fan of this. I mean, it's not bad.
biting on plastic or holding plastic in my mouth will certainly get some take some getting used to. I do like holding the pipe. Let's slow it down and see if we um, <clears throat> make sure that the audio is still going. Yeah, we are. Slow it down and see if it can stay lit. So now I guess we just sit out here and ponder life for the remainder of the bowl. All right, well, that was the first pipe that I've ever packed and smoked. Still got it going. I've been smoking this for 37 minutes, so damn. And yes, I've had to relight it a decent amount of times, but it's the first one. Give me a break. Come on. By the time I'm 70, woo! Man, it's so different tasting than a cigar. So I'm not going to be doing a cleaning video, but <clears throat> that'll come later, certainly, especially as I try more blends. Seem to be going out again. We're getting towards the end here, but very, very interesting. Um, went a lot better than I thought that it would. I thought that it was going to be a complete disaster. So I don't know. I think I'm going to call this a success. I enjoyed it. I still have a lot to learn. This is definitely a skill that's going to take some time to get down pat especially even just with the breathing rhythms, like how you actually smoke this thing. It's much different than anything I've ever smoked. See if we can get a little, get a little bit more. I'm also still breaking this pipe in. If you're thinking about smoking your first pipe, let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions, because I just did. Subscribe for more content on cigars and pipe smoking. As I continue this journey, so thanks for watching.